Hello again. I've been juggling a few different videos behind the scenes, but I figured I would do this one pretty quickly. It's just kind of my thoughts on the state of play conferences that Sony has been doing. These are basically their answer to Nintendo Directs, if you're not aware. It's basically the exact same format. And it's interesting because Sony is kind of stepping away from some of the more expected marketing. They weren't at E3, uh, and they were barely at Gamescom and Tokyo Game Show. I think they were only there to promote Death Stranding, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I think that it's sort of been a point of criticism for me and, and some of my friends because we just don't know why they're not really trying to market as much. And before the state of play that happened a few days ago, they'd already tried these little conferences twice. And I don't really think that they were very successful. And this one that we just had hasn't changed my mind. These things are very short. They don't have a whole lot of substance. It's even funnier because they were promoting this one that just happened as being their biggest one yet. Like we've really listened to your feedback. They've said that on their, the PlayStation blog. And that just made me laugh because these are while they may be shorter than some Nintendo Directs, I don't think they have anywhere close to the substance, and they don't have anywhere close to the same energy either. That said, I don't try to get overly excited for Nintendo Directs. I try to be pretty measured about it. If I am going to make predictions about what I think will be there, it's usually based on some degree of facts. I'm not going to sit there and hope for a new F-Zero game literally every time a Nintendo Direct is announced. That's stupid. So I'm not doing that with Sony-related stuff either. And yet, this still felt really short for me. Not much better than the other ones. Actually kind of harder to watch. Uh, unlike the first two, I actually skipped through. And, that, and that's saying a lot. You have to really irritate me for me to want to skip ahead. So I guess we'll just talk about what everything was. It's not a long list. Um, despite being a 20 minute presentation, there really were not a lot of games to talk about. Um, we started with the announcement of a new game called Humanity. This is a game that is by Sony. It's like a smaller company. I wasn't familiar with the company. They've done things like Res Infinite. Um, and, and honestly, the trailer, while kind of intriguing, gave me no information on what kind of game this is at all. And the website has equally minimal information. And that's one of those things that annoyed me because in a Nintendo Direct, you would be able to tell what you're looking at when they show a game like this, or they would have accompanying narration to help explain. And they don't do those during these. The narrator is a lot less present, and that's one of my problems, is that th this whole thing, the, the, the state of play effectively feels like a clip show of trailers. I don't really think things would be very different if they just released the trailers online and said what time they were going to do it. I don't think there's any need for this live stream element. It really doesn't seem to enhance it at all. But Humanity was a potentially interesting game that I want to know more about because I don't think they, they gave us much to work with. So that was how they opened the show. But then we moved on to Call of Duty. This is when I started skipping ahead. You know, I, I get annoyed when I see Call of Duty and things like this because it, it's, it's just such a given. It's like showing a sports game. There, there's nothing that the, the PlayStation audience it doesn't really care. This is a big game, yes, but it's like a really it's 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 such a big mainstream game. Yeah, we know there's a new Call of Duty coming out. There's not anything interesting to show. These come out every year and they disappear in like six months. It feels like a big waste of time when you could be showing more PlayStation related products, smaller products that could really need the advertising. The only thing that was interesting about showing the Call of Duty game was that I guess they hinted that there's going to be a survival mode that is exclusive to the game uh, for a year, which I think is very interesting because it implies that they think anyone will be playing this game after a year on other consoles, which I don't think will be the case. So that was interesting, but I would call that bad news because I saw a lot of people complaining about this um, after this was announced. People were very annoyed that this co-op mode isn't going to be there for people playing on other platforms. So that was irritating. Um, then we moved ahead to a game, I could not really read the title of this when I first saw it, but it's called Watam, I believe. This is made by the guy who did Katamari Damacy. I guess that's interesting. It was, it was a weird looking game. Hard to tell what was happening, but I, I felt like I had a better sense of what it was. Uh, again, would have been nice to have narration helping explain these things instead of just the trailer, but since this seems like kind of a very atmospheric game and all that, I understand why they wanted to just show it as it was. 
like the music and the happiness of it. And that, uh, clarify, that's not a Sony game. So it's not a Sony produced indie game to my knowledge. Uh, it's, I think it's in a Purina, so it's not an exclusive. I mean, it may be, but I, I couldn't tell. Next up, they showed L.A. Noir, the VR case files. I was really surprised when I saw this because I, my immediate reaction was, oh, wow, uh, this came out a long time ago. They're adding more cases to it or something? Because my understanding was that the VR version of the game is not the full game. But no, this never came out. I, I could have sworn the VR version of the game came out a long time ago, but it's only just now coming to PlayStation VR. It's also, to my understanding, something you have to buy separately. I'm very dismissive of stuff like that, I guess. <laughs> that was that was a lame announcement. And it was followed by just a quick montage of some VR games, which I, I would have liked to see a little bit of detail on. I don't like seeing games in quick montage form, unless it's like a recap of everything you just saw. It's just annoying because I think most of the time it's it's not very good at conveying what these games are. And with something like VR, I think that's really necessary. This doesn't really avoid the stereotype of all these VR games just being like expensive toys. I understand that someday VR could be really useful, but I don't think it's there quite yet. That's just kind of my opinion. What I do know is that with Nintendo Direct, gimmick things like the VR headset usually are not included because lab announcements and most recently that ring fitness thing they don't put those in the directs they'll usually announce those in a separate video a few days after a direct and I think that's important to note so after that we had yeah the medieval remake I don't know a whole lot about medieval it appeared in some of the other state of plays that they did uh, the demo is out now that's that's always a good thing to announce no issues with that of course that's totally fine Civ 6 Okay, I don't know how Civ plays on console. I know this was put on the Switch a while back as well. Um, it's interesting to me that they're doing this, but yeah, kind of a weird announcement, but all right, sure, we'll throw it in there. Uh, next up, Death Stranding, except we're not gonna see the game because I guess that would be too much to hope for. It's a console bundle. I am very annoyed with console bundles appearing in things like this because who is watching something like this that doesn't already own the system? That's just so weird to me. Yeah, I own a PlayStation 4. I don't need to be advertised to for a new PlayStation. Like, that's that's just ridiculous. So I get annoyed whenever I see anything like that. It doesn't need to be Sony. Uh, you know, it can be Nintendo as well. It just feels like a huge waste of time. So moving on from that, we then saw the game After Party. This was a case where I think the trailer did really speak for itself because it was very narration heavy it was a fine trailer for this game so showing the full trailer i guess worked <laughs> i don't have much more to say about that game because it was just the trailer there's nothing to put sony's spin on it this did not feel like sony presented the game to us it just felt like somebody hit play and the trailer that you know may have already been sitting around for like a month and a half was just shown next we got uh, this really irritated me because this is just such a filler announcement you could have just tweeted this out but instead Sony needed to show us a trailer for what the PlayStation games of the month are. Listen, I'm a person who I will usually download every PlayStation Plus game even if I don't have any plans on playing it. I will download it just so that it's in my library. I'm not downloading these. Th this, this is garbage. All right, we got a baseball game from last year, like a sports game. These things, again, sports games, they go down in value so much. <laughs> And then we got Last of Us, which I swear to God, like that came with my PS4. You bought a PS4 for a while and just came with a copy of The Last of Us. I understand why they're putting it in here because the sequel is coming out soonish. So it makes sense to give people the opportunity to get the game for free so that you can hopefully boost sales. But it's very weird with this one because they already gave this game away in the past. So I don't know, just a lackluster month. And I really hope that there's at least going to be one other game added to this this lineup but i don't think so because this this sucks this is a sucky lineup i'm sorry but that brings us to the last thing that's what everybody came for that's the last of us 2 trailer and yeah it was just a very quick three minute trailer i mean i'm not really that interested in the game so this didn't mean a lot to me but yes this is the highlight of the show this is an appropriate closer for the show good job playstation even if i felt the trailer wasn't all that substantive, at least to me. I was actually really surprised to see Joel in this because they've spent so much time not talking about Joel that I assumed that they were gonna like keep that a secret in the game. You would play the game and find out if Joel is in it or not. 
But no, I guess they just really wanted to stretch out whether or not he was going to show up. Uh, and we got it here in this trailer. And we got the release date. There you go. That's how it closed out. And all of this stuff just felt very flat, at least for me. And I couldn't help but think of Nintendo Directs because they just do a better job of presenting this. It feels like more of a show. There have been times where Nintendo has shown a game that I'm not even really interested in, and I'm still really surprised to see it. Uh, whereas here, I wasn't really surprised by, by anything that I saw. And I think that that's partially because Nintendo has more interesting things more often than not. But I also think it's because in the rush to kind of keep this curated and keep it simple, they just didn't really have a terribly interesting lineup. Call of Duty, not interesting. The, the VR version of L.A. Noir that's been out for a long time, not interesting. Uh, I can really only count two to three announcements here that, again, they were just trailers. You could have just dumped these onto the Sony YouTube channel, and they would have done just fine. I, I know that for a fact. Like, what's next? Are movie companies going to start doing live streams where they shove a bunch of movie trailers together? Like, like is that next? Because that's, that's what this basically is. So yeah, I don't want to rant too much about this. I think this kind of just confirms my issue with Sony, because I have a PlayStation, I've been very happy with my PlayStation, but most of the PlayStation exclusive games that I've bought and enjoyed, Sony doesn't really have anything to do with them. They're just incidentally PlayStation exclusive. Those are the kinds of games that probably should have been included in something like this. Incidental exclusives, rather than things like Civilization VI. Uh, something that the PlayStation audience will feel validated by, because that's usually a good way of judging a Nintendo Direct is when I watch it and I go, wow, I'm glad that I bought my Nintendo Switch because they just showed me a bunch of games that I want to buy on my Nintendo Switch. This didn't really do the same. Maybe Last of Us 2, but I can guarantee you that there's been people who bought this thing at launch and have been waiting for this game the whole time. So I don't necessarily mean a game as big as that. I mean a smaller game. Like, Deadly Premonition 2 getting announced in that last Nintendo Direct was insane to me. And there were many other games there, too, where I went, wow, I couldn't have predicted that this was going to be a game they were going to release. And I'm glad I have the Switch so I can play it. So, yeah, I don't know, kind of an annoying rant, but these state of plays, they're just not doing it for me. You know, I'm watching them, but I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. This might be the last one, because they just aren't worth it, even though they're not very long. And I don't know if it's Sony being really arrogant or just throwing this together very hastily and just not trying. But I, I will say one thing to kind of close it off. At least I knew that Sony was doing a live stream presentation. I didn't find out that Xbox held a presentation the same day uh, <laughs> until like 30 minutes ago when I was doing some research for this video just to make sure. So that says a lot. At least I knew Sony was doing something. All right, that's, that's about it for this. Let me know what you thought of the state of play. You think I'm being too hard on it, that's fine. Please, just let me know. Is there anything that you were hoping to see? Were you wondering where that uh, Ghost of Tsushima game was? Because I was wondering where that was. That's all I have to say. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with a, a video that is a bit more measured. <laughs> Alright.